In this video, join me for a classic winter hike in Rocky Mountain National Park. Starting at the Bear Lake Trailhead, we're going to hike all the way up to Emerald Lake and back through some winter snow coming down and some interesting cloudy weather above. Let's get started. I'm up here at Rocky Mountain National Park at the Bear Lake Trailhead. It was a moody winter day with some snow flurries coming down. Over the last couple days they gotten about a foot of fresh snow up here and tonight there's supposed to be another foot. So coming up here in between the, the drops, trying to get some photography of the fresh snowfall up here. We'll see what it looks like out there, but time to get the, the cold gear and the snowshoes on and get after it. Let's get started. All right, out here on the trail, kind of protected in the trees right now and out of the wind. So it's really not that cold with my down parka on. The trail is somewhat packed down. So it's nice hiking right now. Clouds are down low, you can't see the big views, but with all this fresh snow and all the evergreens up here, it's pretty beautiful. I'll show you the view. Walking through the forest buried in freshly fallen snow made many stops to photograph trees like this one, covered in a picturesque layer of white. I found that many of my winter photographs end up looking their best when converted to black and white and so most of the photos I captured on this day would end up in monochrome. We have arrived at the first lake on the trail. We are at Nymph Lake. Obviously it's frozen over, covered with snow. You can see the open area here where it is. And just a few moments ago, the wind was blowing through here and blowing the snow through the air. But this is the place. Keep on going. This is definitely not a day for big majestic views. As you can see, it's quite foggy, cloudy, however you want to describe it back there behind me. But with all the fresh snow on the landscape and covering the trees and all that, it is a beauty all its own. So on days like this, I try and look for those smaller scenes inside the big views that aren't quite so big today. And 
really pick out those those little moments and everybody loves a good photo of a snow loaded tree especially when it comes back around to christmas time right gotta have christmas cards so it's still really nice to be out here the wind hasn't really been that bad there's been a few gusts here and there but overall pretty calm that might change once we get to dream lake and things open up but overall i'm quite warm in my in my down parka so keep on hiking all right we have arrived up here at dream lake the snow is blowing quite a bit and the clouds are low so we don't have that big view of Hallett peak that you normally do but it's still a very beautiful spot kind of interesting with the blowing snow back there so check this out starting to pick up a little bit. I'm feeling the ice forming on my beard. But overall I'm still nice and warm with my down parka and good exercise and a nice adventure. Just be prepared if you're coming up into this stuff in the winter time. That's all. And we have finally arrived at Emerald Lake. Once again, the clouds are low, it's snowing. So the views of the mountains around us are very minimal, but it is a world of white. Very beautiful in its own way. And it's so peaceful here. I'm really surprised that the wind is not just whipping through here for the gusts that were in the forecast. It's really peaceful and beautiful. And there's not very many people up this far, so. Very nice to be out here. It's been a while since I've been up here in the winter snowshoeing and it is a good time, especially when you're dressed and equipped for the cold. That's interesting that as soon as I started recording, my foot slid out from under me and I fell on my butt. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting an excessive amount of ice on my beard. But the rest of my body is actually quite warm from the effort of the hike and the fact that the wind's not blowing. I think the temperature is probably in the teens or so. But oh, it's just nice, nice to be out here on the trail again. <laughs> Give you a look at what I'm walking through.
You may be able to see the wind kind of blowing the snow through there ahead of us. Some of that is cloud, some of that is blowing snow. And here's a little bit of a gust, so we'll probably have some more blowing snow here in a moment. Mixing in with the snow that's coming down. Oh, the clump just fell off a tree and hit me in the head. <laughs> All this snow though. <laughs> Beautiful. Boy, when the wind is peaceful out here, it is just so quiet. When you have this landscape that's covered with snow, it just absorbs all the sound. This is some of the deepest quiet you can ever hear especially when it's snowing like this and there's not very many people out. There's just something really beautiful about it. It's one of the things I enjoy most about snowshoeing and winter hiking, especially when there's a whole bunch of fresh powder like there is right now and everything is mostly calm. Not very many people out because the weather's kind of crazy today up here. But if you're ready for it and prepared, then it's all good and it's a great time to be out. I'm going to head down this last hill to Dream Lake. All right, finishing up the hike here. Down on this last little bit of trail. I see that I have way too much ice on my beard. The pocket camera that I normally use for video, my Osmo Pocket 2. The battery has given up the ghost in the cold, so I'm finishing the filming here with my iPhone. So it might be a little more bouncy than usually is. Maybe I'll try and stop here. I've been shooting today with my Nikon Z7 and the Tamron 24 to 70 lens. And that's worked pretty well for just about everything I've done except for one time when I swapped on my 70 to 200 because there was a Stellar's J in a tree next to us. And that nice blue color against all this white looked pretty nice. But it's been a nice day out in the snow. Nice hiking. The clouds have stayed pretty low on top of us, so not a lot of big grand scenics, but lots of more tighter stuff, little trees buried in snow, more intimate scenes, kind of stuff I'd like to do when you got lots of fresh powder like this. So we'll keep walking and finish this up and I'll film a little bit of the trail the rest of the way.
and we're back to the Xterra. We finished up the hike. Another great adventure up to Nymph Lake, Dream Lake, and Emerald Lake. It is one of the best known hikes up here in Rocky Mountain National Park, but it is a great adventure that rarely disappoints, especially in the winter. I tend to enjoy it even more in the winter than in the summer because there's not quite as many people on the trail. It's a whole different look and the ruggedness of it is dialed back a little bit by all the roots and rocks and tree branches and all that on, on, that you're walking on on the trail being covered with snow. It can be a little more strenuous if there's deep powder like there was today, but it's a great adventure most of the time. Rarely disappoints, and I'll surely be back up there within the next two or three months to treat the Milky Way from that trail as well. But another great hike today. I think I got some good shots. We'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.